host Jason. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a personal portfolio website. The best platform to do this based on my own experience would be Wix Website Builder. With Wix, you can get started for completely free, it is beginner friendly, and also it offers numerous options that will allow you to create a stunning website even as a beginner in no time. So what I want you to do is go onto Wix.com and you are going to create an account using your email address. Once you have created your account, you are going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you are going to tap on Set up without chat. Then from here, you are going to tap on the search bar and you could type in whatever type of website you would like to create. But for this example, we are going to be creating a personal portfolio. So we are going to select personal portfolio, then we are going to tap on continue. After you have selected continue, you will be redirected to your new dashboard. On this dashboard, you can enter the name of your site. So for example, I'll just call it by my name right there, then tap on continue. After you have done that, you can see some recommended apps. So for example, we'll have the portfolio app, which will allow us to showcase our work. You can also add the Instagram feed app, which will allow you to display your pics and videos from Instagram. I would normally recommend that you also select the blog app. So that will allow you to write out content and add it to your website. You can also select the video app. If you plan on sharing or selling videos online, you could select that. And you can scroll down and you can see the other apps that you could add. So if it is a case that you plan on selling something online, you could select online store or you can do booking. You can also add live chat and there are numerous options as you can see right here. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue, then tap on continue to dashboard. Now that we have selected continue to dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select portfolio. After selecting portfolio, from here you can select what kind of work you're going to showcase, whether it is web design, photography, graphic design, illustrations, brand identity, or other. You can select other right here and you could enter the type of portfolio that you're uploading. Then you're going to tap on next. After selecting next, you'll tap on upload from computer and you'll be able to upload your work. Then from there, you'll tap on save and that's it. Now that you have uploaded your portfolio, if it is a case that you would like to write blogs, you could tap on blogs from the left hand menu option. Then from here, you could tap on create new posts in the top right hand corner and you will be able to quickly create a blog post. And we also have the Wix AI that you can use to compose content you can use it right there. You can tap on create AI title and by going over to the left hand menu option, you can see that you can also edit the settings right here, the SEO and so much more. It is quite easy to use. Once you're finished, you'll tap on save and publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live. After doing that, we'll simply close out of blog. Now that I've shown you how to create a blog, and also how to upload your portfolio, I'll be showing you how to customize the appearance of your website. To do this, you will tap on set up in the top right left hand corner bit it. Then you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. After doing that, you're going to tap on pick a template. Then you'll be redirected to this page and you can see numerous templates that you can select from. So you can simply scroll down until you have found a template of your liking. Normally I would select one of the best matches. So all you would need to do is tap on edit. After selecting edit, you are going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, I'll be showing you how to customize the appearance of your website. So you can see it is loading up right there. Now, if you would like to use the Wix AI feature to compose content for your website, you can do that by simply tapping at the box right here. You could type in some details that you would like to add on your site, then tap on generate site text. 
but typically I would tap on the X to close the pop-up, then tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Now that I've done that, you can start editing your website. To edit your website is quite straightforward and easy. All you'll need to do is hover over a particular section with your mouse cursor, then tap on quick edit, and from there you can make changes. So if you like to change the image, you could tap on change right here, and I could change the image. So I could either choose to upload an image by tapping on upload media in the top left hand corner, or I could select media from Wix, and from there I could select one of their copyright free images. As you can see, there are numerous options that you can select from. Let's say I were to select this image right here, then tap on choose image. You can see how it looks. Then we can also edit the text on the right hand column. So you can edit each section as you can see right here. After you're finished, you'll simply tap on the X to close out. You can also edit the header section by hovering over it and tapping on quick edit. We could change the name. So I could type in my name right there. You can also change this text right here if you want. Once you're finished, you'll tap on the X and it is as easy as that to edit your website. If you like to make changes to the footer section, you would hover over it, tap on quick edit, then from there you can change the phone number, an email address, and so on. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to go over to the top left hand corner, top right where you see home, and this is where you're going to see all of the pages that are currently on your website. So we'll tap on resume to view the resume page, once on this page, you can tap on quick edit once more and then from there you could go over to the right hand column and you can edit the resume section right here. So you could add in your own resume. So you can see right there, then we'll tap on education section and we can edit that section also. Then you can scroll down, tap on skills and expertise and you can edit that also. It's quite straightforward and easy to do. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now, you can tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. Then we could tap on preview to see how it looks. Once everything is to our liking, we'll tap on publish and our website will now be live. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.